Hi everyone, I'm Alex. I'm on the marketing team at Datastacks, and today I'm going to show you how to launch a sample React to do list app using Astrod Netlify and GitPod. Um, so, we're going to start by pulling up the uh, sample app gallery. This is a really good place to find templates um, when you start building your next app using Astra. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and select the to do list app. This is going to pull up GitHub, um, and if I scroll down a bit, You'll see there are in instructions on how to get going um, on the readme. And we have kind of three paths um, you can walk through. The first is if you want to run the app on your local machine. The second is if you want to run using Gitpod, which is an online IDE. And the third is how to deploy this app to Netlify. Um, so today we're going to walk through steps two and three. So the first step is to go ahead and create your Astro account. Um, so I've done that already. Um, and, and once you've done that, you're going to want to create a database. Um, so I'm going to go over to Astro. Um, and the first screen after you create an account is this Create Database screen. Um, so here I'm going to plug in the region. I'm going to name my database. I'm going to name the key space and then set my database username and password. And once, once you've gone ahead and, and, and done that, you're going to hit Launch Database. Okay, cool. So while Astro is doing its thing, I'm going to start launching uh, Gitpod. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the README, and I'm going to click this Open in Gitpod button. And this typically takes 30 seconds to a minute uh, to get your Gitpod workspace going. All right, so you can see the workspace has started. Um, and in the console here, we're, we're installing the node dependencies. All right, so the node dependencies are finished installing, and you'll now see I'm asked to plug in my Astra uh, database details. So I'm going to plug in the username that I just set, the password, the key space, my database ID, which I can find right here. Along with the region. And then I'll hit enter. And this is going to set up the database, um, create all the tables necessary to run my example. So we can see that's done. We can see that the, the, the app has been built. And I'm going to go ahead and hit open browser. And here we can see my app is now live running a Gitpod. Um, and I can interact with it, create a to do list item. And this is connected with Data Stacks Astra. So now that we've done that, uh, we're going to deploy the app to Netlify. So I'm going to go back to the README. And there's a similar uh, deploy button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I'll connect my GitHub account. And then here, I'm going to be asked for those uh, same database details I used in the git pod step. I'll go ahead and plug those in. And then once you plugged in those details, uh, we're just going to hit save and deploy. So here we're going to be taken to the Netlify app overview page. 
um, and we can see that the site deploys in progress. And we can see uh, the link turned green, the deploy was successful, so I'll click that link, and my app is live. Um, so we've successfully uh, deployed a React application um, talking to uh, DSX Astro to Netlify.